Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All praises are Allah's, the most gracious and the most merciful. The peace and blessings are due to his final prophet and messenger Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh, in this video, inshallah, I'm going to comment on the insulting issue to our prophet and messenger Muhammad peace be upon him and to his message Islam in general by the French president Emmanuel Macron uh, this person Emmanuel Macron tried to exploit what is called Islamophobia a, a terminology used to present Islam as a source of terrorism and a source of dreadful terrible actions uh, he tried to present Islam in this way so as to regain what he has lost from his popularity among his people all this has done under the all this have done under the pre pretext of uh, freedom of speech he dared to describe islam as a religion that is in crisis all over the world and later on he added that he won't prevent the publishing of the insulting characters or cartoons which were uh, exhibited by a school teacher in one of the schools in France. As commenting on uh, these actions and statements, I would like to say that what Macron did could not be considered as an, an isolated incident that was not preceded by its likes. Rather, it was part of a long series of action that take place here and there, constituting a whole campaign against Islam. This hateful statement can serve as a means that triggers terrorist behaviors and enhances violence actions. It also jeopardizes the great efforts being exerted to establish peace and stability in the whole world. Macron's, Macron abuses Islam under the pretext of freedom of speech. Meanwhile, he forgets or pretends to forget that his country adopts secularism, which claims to be neutral towards religions. Thus, in what sense he comes to give himself the right to freely speak ill about the values of Muslims and at the same time he asks them to respect the values of his republic. He is not tolerant with the minority of Muslim community in France and wants them to be tolerant in response to the insults of their holy values so that I do call all Muslims all over the world to be aware of this conspiracy and do not let these scholars to fool them because they want to encourage Muslims to take any terrorist actions and uh, these terrorist actions could be or could serve as a means by which they present Islam as a religion that is sponsoring terrorism and actually Islam or terrorism has nothing to do with Islam all it uh, is done by the terrorist groups has nothing to do with Islam because the Islamic Prophet was not one of the terrorists and even the pictures which were exhibited to our Prophet taking 
a bump or something like this on his head this is a very big lie because the, the history of Islam has told us that our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and all his followers did not make any factory even a factory for making weapons he did not uh, establish or set up factories for making pumps like nuclear pumps they have to ask themselves who dropped the nuclear pumps on Hiroshima and Nagasaki that was not a Muslim man was not a Muslim country they are these disbelievers and secularists who find their tongues nowadays to talk about Islam as a religion that is sponsoring terrorism and actually and the truth is that they are the terrorists themselves those who sell weapons all over the world and establish many factories and selling weapons all over the world and starting wars between countries and those themselves are uh, the people who colonized some African countries and took many Africans overseas and sold them as servants in the European markets. Who is a terrorist? Who is a terrorist? Muslims are not terrorists. Islam has nothing to do with terrorism, but they are the terrorists themselves and they try to condemn Islam with terrorism. Uh, so I call all, mis all Muslims worldwide to be aware. Macron's provocative words aim at sparking Muslims' anger and attract the overzealous to respond violently or in an unwise way that does not take into consideration the coming consequences. The secularists may encourage some extremist members I know that many of the extremists and the secularists or uh, the terrorist groups were guarded and were pushed and urged by these secularists themselves to take some actions that spoil and corrupt the image of Islam. And all the world should know that Islam has nothing to do with all these terrorist actions. Okay, the extremist members may shoot, bomb, behead, or burn a house, or threaten any non-Muslim person. Then they exploit, I mean the secularists themselves, they exploit that opportunity to reinforce Islamophobia in purpose of scattering their people away from embracing Islam. Islamophobia could also be manipulated in the fight against Islam under the pretext of fighting against terrorism. I do not agree with most of the reactions took place in Muslim countries in condemnation to the French cursing to Islam. The mass media published that some Muslims tried to burn the French embassies in their countries. Some others drew abusive cartoons to the French prison, and some others were accused of beheading the French teacher who exhibited the insulting images. Generally, our true Islamic scholars do not recommend such kinds of responses and consider them prohibited. For the fact that they spoil the image of Islam, a thing that actually supplies the goal of the enemies of Islam. So the best way to oppose the French campaign against Islam is to present the true image of Islam in a way that makes the non-Muslims know more about the reality of Islam and morals. So I do urge all Muslims, particularly the preachers, to keep on pro propagating the message of Islam to the whole world. I think it's upon the cause of Islam to teach 
people that Islam is the religion of wisdom and truth. It does not need force to spread. And it has the complete, as it has the complete and convincing truth. Finally, all Muslims hold out their prophet and are angry with the curses issued to him should make sure that our prophet will not be hurt by any kind of indecent behavior towards him. Since Allah Almighty and Majesty, Almighty and Majesty has promised to protect him and punish any hand or tongue that extends to him. As Allah has said, Inna kafayna kal mustahzi'in, which is which can be translated as indeed we are sufficient for you against the mockers, those who mock the Prophet this be upon him, or those who tries to insult him, or uh, those who say bad words or speak ill of him, all these kinds of behavior our prophet is protected from it and nothing will reach him and the one who extends his hand or his tongue to our prophet is the one who will be cut off this is what our god almighty and majesty has promised us thank you for watching and listening carefully to the video and see you inshallah next time